Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, I got an interesting show I want to touch on today. It's not a real hot topic. It's not really topical today, but it's Andy Cruz overhyped. And I want to compare him to Kevin uh, Brown, who I was not impressed with, um, who beat Andy Cruz twice as an amateur. But before we get into all that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Vod. Quick hits come to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all right, let's get into today's show. Uh, all proceeds from the Texas Boxing Scene go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's show because it's going to be a good one. Um, is Andy Cruz overhyped? Is he overrated? We don't know yet because he hasn't had a pro fight yet. Um Rubisi Ramirez got it done. He got up to a world title. Lomachenko had a great career. He got the multiple world titles, um, multiple weight classes. Um, and, and that's the hype that Andy Cruz is coming with. Um, two-time gold medalist, beat Keyshawn Davis, beat everybody in the amateurs. Uh, not everyone. Well, he beat Kevin Brown, but I want to get into that. He lost to Kevin Brown in the amateurs multiple times. Same weight class, only one of them can make the Olympic team. And I don't know how they, you know, I don't know how it works in Cuba. I don't know how they qualify fighters because it's different in every country. Uh, but you, you do the qualifying, and you go to the qualifying rounds, and you know, uh, obviously. But Kevin Brown beat Andy Cruz in 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 the Olympics multiple times. Um, and I'm not impressed with in uh, with with Kevin Brown. Um, I know he's got skills. Um, he, he doesn't. He's not going to be a, a great. I, I don't see him being a great. Um, fighter as a pro. I, I don't see um, anything really. He's got great skills, for sure. He doesn't have a lot of power. He's not hyper-athletic. It doesn't seem. Um, I'm just you know, I'm just starting to get to see him now. Um, like I said, he doesn't have power. He doesn't really have any next gears. He doesn't press the action. He just kind of sits there and tries to win rounds. And, and you can see um, in, in Kevin Brown's last fight, which is on that, uh, was it Jake Paul, Logan Paul? Jake Paul is the promoter? It uh, doesn't matter. Uh on the most valuable prospects card in Florida. He's fighting a guy named Julian Smith who really shouldn't be at his level. And, uh, you know, Julian Smith, who's just, you know, six and one type guy, he's not six and two, giving him all types of issues, winning rounds from him. And this, again, if we're basing all of Andy Cruz's potential and what he might could be, what he's going to be as a pro, what he might could be, his ceiling, all of this, you're basing that solely 100% on the Amis. Kevin Brown beat him multiple times in the amateurs, and we'll see how he's – I'm not saying Kevin Brown's going to suck or anything like that. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is he's really not that impressive as a pro. It's, it's not a ton of hype around him. You know, people aren't, aren't mentioning his name for a world title shot, 140 pounds, three fights into his career. That's not his fault, but he doesn't have that type of hype. He doesn't have that type of, of, of luster. Um, so I'm really not quite certain – how, why, well, I get why Andy Cruz, he's got the Olympic hardware, but he, he, he couldn't beat this guy consistently, not consistently. They beat each other, which means they're operating, to me, to me, that means they're operating at the same level. If they're operating at the same level, and the only thing we have to, to judge Andy Cruz by is what he did in the Amis, what makes you think he's going to be substantially better than, than Kevin Brown? I'm, I'm being serious. Kevin Brown beat him multiple. Yes, he beat Kevin Brown too, but they beat each other, right? So they're, they're operating at the same level. Uh, so you know, Eddie Hearn is talking about he, he wants to put him with, with Tank Davis. He wants to put him in with all these, you know, high level world class fighters. Kevin Brown just was given life or death with a guy named Julian Smith. Keep that in mind, fellas. Keep that in mind. Julian Smith gave him life and death. Six of one guy. Have you ever heard of Julian Smith? And again, and that doesn't mean Julian Smith is no good. Doesn't mean he's trash. He's now six and two, and he's got losses to uh, somebody named Raynell Medeiros. And now he's got a decision loss to uh, Kevin Brown. 
Um, the, the loss to Medeiros was a 5-0 and guy. It's wider than the loss to Brown. Now, look, we can say Brown's already fighting 10-rounders, and that's that's something special in and of its own. Um, but here's a guy who also beat Julian Smith, who, who's got no wins of note, right? Nothing at all. Um, he'd be a guy named Alfredo Escargueta, who's 14-0. Um, and, and Kevin Brown doesn't look spectacular, doesn't really seem to have, you know, what it would take to be a great, at least at this point. And I think Kevin Brown's right at like 28, is he? How old is Kevin Brown? 29. So it's not like he's, you know, inexperienced or hasn't hit his mantra right there. He's going to improve drastically. He's not going to improve from a physical standpoint, right? And he's been fighting his whole life. So what I'm saying is I don't see a world championship fighter in Kevin Brown. And if I don't see a world championship fighter in Kevin Brown, and Kevin Brown beat Andy Cruz multiple times in the amateurs, and all we have to do is to judge Andy Cruz is as what he did as an amateur, what, what is all the hype and gloss about? I'm, I, I don't mean to belittle Andy Cruz, and maybe he'll turn out to be a great pro. But if I'm drafting him, if I'm drafting young fighters, I'm not taking Andy Cruz at the top of my list. I'm not taking him over Jahai Tucker. Like if there was a, a, a you know a draft of all prospects, you say who are you taking? Jahai Tucker, um, or or Mason Abdullah, or or, or those guys, or or, or or Keyshawn Davis. I'm not taking. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not predicting him to be better than any of those guys. So I wouldn't draft him over any of those guys. Uh, so I, I just need a little help here. With why Andy Cruz is getting the gloss that he, the hype and the gloss uh, and, and the love and, and all the flowers that he's getting, and to say that he can beat Tank Davis like Eddie Hearn said when he wants him to fight Tank Davis is absolutely ridiculous. Now I know Andy, Eddie, Eddie, Andy Hearn, Eddie Hearn doesn't actually mean that. He's not going to actually do that. He doesn't actually think he can win because that's ridiculous, right? I don't think there will ever be a day in his life, in Andy Cruz's life, where he'll be able to beat Tank Davis at any weight. Just put that out there. Um, so to say that now without a pro fight is uh, uh, utterly absurd. You know, Andy Cruz lost a pro as amateur as less amateur fight. You know, yes, he's got a sensational record. Uh, he just lost to D- Delano James. Um, Delano James is from where is this? Guy? He's from the Netherlands. I, I didn't know that. He, and he's forty two years old. I'm not making fun of this guy, but he just lost to a guy from the Netherlands who's 42 years old. And this is the greatest thing we ever saw in our life, huh? Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on Quick Hits. I follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, on YouTube, all proceeds from that time go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's June 1st, guys, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.